Cue the depression starting now. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see by today's title, I am talking about abusive exes. This first one wasn't really abusive. And for the sake of their identity, and I don't want them to get any hate, I am going to be calling them... Bob. I don't know. Okay, so me and Bob got together. It actually started off, we were all in a church group. There was a bunch of us friends there, and we were all playing truth or dare in the back. And they all thought it would be funny to dare me and Bob to date. So we did, and then we started hanging out more like an actual couple. They, like, said we needed to do, like, couple things and stuff. So we did. And then we both ended up catching feelings, and we both admitted them, and so we made it official. And it wasn't a dare anymore. It was the real thing. The tea. Okay. So the first two weeks, they're going good. Like, we're happy. We're, like, hanging out and stuff. About week three, when people started finding out that we weren't faking it anymore... That's when things started to go downhill. It was about March of 2016, I think. I'm not for sure. That people found out that Bob was interested in guys. They thought it'd be okay to start get, saying homophobic slurs and everything... And, like, this, I was his first boyfriend, like, cool. What he did next is probably why I'm fucked up in the head. He proceeded to just straight up ignore me. Like, we lived, our houses literally were back to back. And... He never would text me when I texted him. We'd go to church, he'd act like, oh, we're still a thing and stuff. But we'd never hang out. In school, he would never try talking to me. He just straight up, like, ghosted me, but, like, he was still there. And he still let, led me on to believe that our relationship, were we were still together and stuff. Come to find out, he was telling people we were done, like, the first day all this shit started. His parents even started calling him, like homophobic names and stuff and then okay we break up and then it fucks me up inside because I'm like what the fuck who could actually do that to someone like just up and stop talking to him all of a sudden like I still fight against that to this day uh like I was saying I don't want these tea times to be too long because I don't want somebody to sit through a five minute video of me just ranting but we'll flash forward, like I said, to this day. Just a couple days ago, actually, me and so-called ex met up. My husband knows. It happened here in my house. And we talked out our differences, and I think I'm finally coming to terms with them. I'm, like, still iffy about the situation, but... Yeah. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit the big red subscribe button down below. Every subscribe counts. I just want to say thank you to my 17 subscribers and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.